Welcome to Yoga for Depression. This is a beginner level course designed to improve your mood and increase your energy. Now before we begin, please find a comfortable space where you can lay down a yoga mat or exercise mat and start laying flat on your back with your arms beside your hips, palms facing up, and your legs out towards the corners of the mat, just like you see here on the video. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and start the practice. As you lie here on your back on your mat, bring your attention to your breath. Take a couple of deep inhales through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. From here, reach your hands over your head up by your ears, flex your feet. You can roll your wrists and your ankles. Just stretch out nice and long through your body here. And when you're ready, gently bring your knees towards your chest, wrap your arms around your knees and give yourself a big hug. You can sway side to side if you want, roll forwards and backwards, massage out your sacrum. Just take a moment here. Then stretch your legs back out and we're gonna roll over onto our stomach. So however you need to do that, flip over onto your stomach. Once you're on your stomach, take your elbows just below your shoulders with your forearms stretched straight out in front of you, palms open wide and fingers spread open. Now as you lift up, bring your sternum up, roll your shoulder blades back and open up across your collarbones. We're gonna be stretching out the back here. Press the tops of your feet into the mat and continue to lengthen up through the top of your head. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, we're going to press up onto our hands and knees. Widen your knees about as wide as your mat with your toes together and sit back onto your heels as you lay forward for child's pose. We're going to take a couple of breaths here of rest. Next inhale, come up onto your hands and knees. Keep your knees directly below your hips and wrist directly below your shoulders with your back straight and your core engaged. So you wanna activate those muscles across the front of your body. Keep your head and neck nice and long. We're gonna go into a cat cow. So we're going to exhale, bring your head up, drop your hips, arch your back. And as you exhale, round up like a cat, a nice round spine pressing down through your fingers. Just do this a few times following the rhythm of your breath. When you're ready, come back to a neutral spine and we'll press back to downward facing dog. So downward facing dog, your palms are spread open and you're pressing down through your palms and out through your tailbones. You wanna keep the spine and arms and shoulders nice and long. You can pedal out your feet here, stretch out through the shoulders, and eventually come to a point where you can hold it still. Your knees can be bent, there's no problem here. Just practice playing with this stretch. It's gonna open up the backs of your hamstrings and your calves. When you're ready, Take a couple of steps forward towards your hands. You can come up on your fingertips. Keep your knees bent as much as they need to be. Grasp your elbows with your fingers and hang heavy over the front of your legs with your chest resting on the top of your thighs. Continue to breathe here. Focusing your mind and energy on what's going on in your body you're ready, inhale, bring your hands to your hips, keeping a straight back, come all the way up to standing. You can roll your shoulders back a little, find a comfortable place for your feet. You wanna keep your feet about hip distance apart. And as you inhale, reach up with your arms over your head, grab onto one wrist and pull over to the side, not reaching too far just enough so that you feel a stretch across the side of your body through your ribs.
and switch to the other side, grabbing your wrist and pulling gently to the other side. You only want to bend so far that you can continue to breathe. We don't want to block the airways here. So just keep within a comfortable stretch. And exhale, bring your hands back down to your sides. From here, bring your hands to your hips and keeping a straight back, fold forward. Just gonna hang forward over the fronts of our legs. And as you inhale, come up with a flat back, hands on your shins, looking forward and exhale. Press your hands to the mat, bend your knees. We're gonna step back with our left foot. Coming into warrior two, so you want your back leg to be perpendicular to your front one. So our hips are open. And as you come up, you wanna keep your knee bent in the front and your arms out to either side your torso facing the way your hips are open. And you can look forward over your front hand. Continue to breathe here. Bring your front palm up and reach back for a reverse warrior. So your back arm is coming down that back leg and using your um, either your thigh or your calf as a support and reach up towards the ceiling, keeping the bend in the front knee. And inhale, come back up. Place your right elbow onto your right knee. Gently sweep your left arm over your ear here, reaching out towards the front of the room. I'm gonna keep that bend in your front knee nice and deep and press down through the back foot. Keeping nice and strong in your pose here. And inhale, we're gonna bring our hands back to the mat and step forward, putting our feet back together. This time, sit back really deep and sweep your arms forward up beside your ears for a chair pose. So it's like you were sitting on a chair and someone's taking it out from behind you. So you want to reach up through your fingertips and exhale, drop forward to the mat. And this time, take your right foot all the way back. Again, a perpendicular foot. So you want your, the heel of your front foot and the arch of your back foot to line up. Bend into the front knee and sweep your arms up and out. So they're extended to the front and back of the room. And look over your front hand. Continue to breathe here, engaging the core. Bring your front palm up and glide your back hand down your back leg, reaching up towards the ceiling, keeping a bend in your front knee. We're stretching out through the side body here. And inhale, come forward. Place your left elbow on your left leg and reach up and out through your right arm over your ear. Stretching out through the right side of the body. And inhale, come back up, hands down, and we're gonna hop back to the front of the mat, finding our feet again, just hanging forward over our legs. You can begin to straighten them as your legs will be warmer now. Just play around with a stretch in the back of your legs as you hang forward. Your hands don't need to touch the ground. Just stay where you're comfortable. And slowly move your way back back to our child's pose, so knees wide, toes together. Sit back on your heels and lean forward onto the mat. Take this moment to connect back with your breath and take stock of what's going on in your body. Take a few deep breaths in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth just a couple more times as we rest here. And inhale, slowly walk your hands back up. We're gonna stay on our knees so you can bring your knees together. Roll your shoulders back, interlace your fingers at the small of your back, and then stretch your arms backwards down toward the mat, opening up across the front of our chest, 
opening the shoulders and drawing down toward the mat. Keeping your head nice and tall as if you had a marionette string coming straight out the crown of your head. And exhale, come forward. So I'm just sitting back on my bum. You can get to there wherever you like. I'm taking my right heel and placing it just beside the sit bone and taking the left leg across. If this is too much, you can keep the right leg straight and cross your left leg over that right straight leg. And then with your right arm, come over the left knee and reach back with your left hand, twisting nice and tall through the spine. So you wanna keep nice and long. And as you inhale, lengthen up. And as you exhale, continue to deepen the twist. So you want both sit bones rooted into the mat here. And press down through your toes as you twist to the back of the mat. One more breath here. And as you inhale again, we're gonna switch sides. So take the left heel towards your right sit bone, cross the right leg over your left knee. Again, you've got the option to keep the left leg straight with your right leg over top of the left knee. And this time take your left arm over your left knee and reach back with your right arm. Again, as we inhale, you wanna lengthen up through the spine and exhale, twist towards the back of your mat. Just a nice gentle twist, don't force it. Your back hand is only for balance, not for forcing yourself into a twist here. And continue to breathe. And inhale, come back to center, unravel your legs. We're just gonna come back to the center of our mat in easy pose, some kind of cross-legged pose, whatever's most comfortable for you. And roll your shoulders back a little. And inhale, reach both arms up over your head, reaching towards the ceiling, nice and tall. And then reach over to one side, placing your palm on the ground and reaching over, over your ear towards the side of the room stretching out that side body again. And again, come back up through the center and switch sides, leaning over to the opposite side, stretching out through the side body, through your fingertips. And exhale, come back to center. Place your hands on your knees, roll your shoulders back again. We're just gonna take a couple of deep breaths here. So inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. One more time. Inhale. And exhale out through your mouth. And return to your normal breath. Thank you for joining me in this yoga class. To get the most out of this class, I would recommend that you try it at least a couple of times a week, if not every day. So I hope to see you again. Thank you.